Lord WLKY Weather with Chief Meteorologist Jay Cardosi. Okay, tomorrow, February 2nd, it's a big day. <laughs> it's Groundhog Day. And you know what? Legend has it, if Punxsutawney Phil sees his shadow bright and early tomorrow morning, six more weeks of winter is expected. If no shadow, well, spring is just around the corner. I just want to throw this tidbit out, though. Did you know that since 1900, Phil has only seen his shadow uh, a handful of times. Uh, bottom line, uh, the forecast uh, for six more weeks of winter has happened 99 times. In other words, 86% of the time, Phil usually forecasts a full six more weeks of winter. We're just going to have to wait and see what happens. I can tell you this, as we look ahead to next week, uh, there are signs, not this week, but next week, by next Wednesday, some of the coldest air of the season so far may may be pushing down into the central and eastern United States. A bitterly cold outbreak will become possible by Wednesday of next week. We're just going to have to wait and see how this develops, but just know winter certainly looks like it's going to make a return across all of the region with the best chances again, as I mentioned, next week. So let's enjoy what we have outside right now. It's clear. It's nice out there, not quite as warm as yesterday or Saturday, but we'll take it. 52 to 55 is the range. Humidity 45%. We have a north breeze in here right now between 5 and 10 miles per hour. Lots of numbers in the 40s and or 50s across a good chunk of the Ohio Valley. These numbers are above average for the time of year. And as we roll through tonight, things will stay very, very quiet weather-wise even into tomorrow morning. No problems whatsoever. You can see the clouds and the showers we had last night clearing out to provide us a beautiful afternoon here on this first day of February. High pressure in control and that will continue to dominate tonight right through tomorrow. Now by the time you wake up in the morning it's going to be cold with many locations back in the middle 30s to low 40s from top to bottom around the viewing area. But we're expecting huge, huge changes just tomorrow alone, and here's why. We're watching this big storm system now starting to crank up in the desert southwest. The Four Corners region arcing out into the front range of the Rockies, already producing a lot of heavy snow. Blizzard conditions, by the way, expected for places like Omaha, Sioux City, up to near Des Moines, possibly the Twin Cities as this storm system really starts to crank up. This guy will continue to lift its way off towards the northeast. We will not see the wintry weather from this one. In fact, we're going to be in the spring-like air by this time tomorrow, and that could lead to a few strong, if not severe, storms by tomorrow evening. So let's break it down for you hour by hour. Jumping ahead to 7 o'clock tomorrow morning, notice no problems. Clouds on the increase, a little bit on the chilly side. As the warmer air makes a return, there could be a few showers midday or early afternoon, but by and large, tomorrow looks just fine. Turning increasingly windy on the warm side, certainly by late day, but notice what's happening off to the west near the Wabash. Let's go forward in time. By 10 o'clock tomorrow night, the latest radar and model data is suggesting we could see a blow up of scattered strong, if not severe storms across the viewing area, and then those will all get a kick off towards the east after midnight tomorrow night. Very, very possible. Some of these could be on the strong to severe side. As I mentioned, there is a slight risk for severe weather across a good chunk of the viewing area, even an enhanced risk, which means the better chances for a few strong, if not severe storms exist from near Louisville and points off to the southwest. Damaging wind gusts, the primary threats, although there could be an isolated weak tornado spin up. The best chances for that would be southwest of Louisville. We'll definitely keep you posted through the day tomorrow. You can get the latest forecast online, WLKY.com, also through all the mobile platforms as well. So here's the forecast. 50s back through the 40s, increasing clouds, especially after midnight. We'll be at 42 at 10 o'clock tonight. We're going to wake up to 38 in the morning by midday tomorrow. Those numbers will climb into the low 50s. Vicki, Rick, we go up to 70 tomorrow afternoon, early evening really, just ahead of those storms tomorrow night. And then behind the storms, it cools off, nothing all that cold, but there are signs that real cold weather is going to get here next week by next Wednesday.